We associate music with particular times in our lives and places and people and relationships that are important in our lives. And we can all kind of um, be suddenly switched on uh, by listening to a certain song or a certain instrument and we say, ah oh, yes, that's what it reminds me of. Think about you, you think about me. at a party a few years ago and um, and the Rolling Stones song uh, Sympathy for the Devil came on and I felt my whole body without, without before I was even conscious of it I felt my whole body kind of go into kind of a spasm of, of memory and goosebump and it was so powerful I just wanted to weep <laughs> not only speaks to the evolution of music in Melbourne, of live music, of this thing that was us creating ourselves, but it's closely tied to the development of Melbourne as a city. Melbourne is a deeply cultural city. It is built in its experiences and the way it's built its way of living. It is not dominated by its physical landscape, but by its cultural and intellectual landscape, and this is part of that story. There are a number of things we want you to, to experience. We want you to have a visceral experience. We want you to walk into different spaces and feel different, feel different things, literally. We're very interested in the way people use music to generate memories, and that for us has been a primary primary focus. I used to say that our artists are our strength and they certainly are and, uh, certainly the successful ones. But um, <laughs> the real strength <laughs> the real strength are the people are the people in the place. We really hope that um, the audience for this exhibition will tell us something about their memories and their stories that are connected with Melbourne and music. Yeah.